All right, hello everyone. As you can see, this is another Fire Alarm Tutorials video. Today I'm gonna to be showing how to clean a electromechanical fire alarm horn. As you can see, this one is a Simplex 2901, well you can't really see the label, but it's a 2901 9846. So this is a very basic horn a lot of us have it, and some of them don't sound that great, and I'm going to show how to clean it to try to improve the sound. So, here we go. Alright, so the first thing you're always going to want to do, if you have a horn like this, or if you have like a Simplex 4903, or something with like a strobe here, or anything really like that, most of these horns come apart by taking these two screws and just kind of taking them out. And we'll do the other one. And you take these screws out and you want to make sure you keep track of them. You can pull this cover right off as you can see. So now with the cover off and out of the way, the first thing you want to do is take just a dry paper towel and just kind of wipe the inside of it down. Be gentle on the diaphragm because this is the part that makes the sound and you want this to be to maintain its shape or else you'll just make the effect worse. So just gently wipe it down with a dry paper towel as you can see, there's not much dust on it anymore, so we've done that. So now what we can do is we can flip it on its backside and do the same thing, kind of getting all these little crevices on here. Just wipe it out, and you will get some dust out of here. So you just kind of do that till you're satisfied with the dry wipe. Now the next thing I'm going to do is arguably the most important part. So in here is the electromagnet which causes the diaphragm to vibrate making the horn sound. If there's dust in those contacts, your horn is not going to sound great. So what I do next is I take some electronics duster, canned air, and just kind of spray, spray through the electromagnet. And just kind of repeat that process again until you feel satisfied that you've cleaned it out. After that, sometimes I'll spray down the front just to finish that off. And then this part of the horn is clean. Now, if you want to clean the grill, you'll repeat the same process. You'll wipe out in here. Now with this, you can probably use a damp paper towel because this isn't electrically energized in any way. Do the same on the front, just kind of wipe it down like I went over earlier. If you really want to make it look nice, which you can't really see on this video, but this one is a little bit scratched up, but I'm not going to be cleaning it in this video. So then, when you're done, you can take both pieces of the horn again, put them on like that, and, uh, well that's the wrong side, but, uh, put the screws back in, like so, and just like that, you've cleaned your horn and it should sound better. Remember, this trick will work with most simplex horns like this, it'll work on the 4903s, it'll work with the Faraday FOS style horns that look kind of like that, just this this style of horn, it works with that. So that's how you clean an electromechanical horn. 
thank you for watching. As always, be sure to check out my GroupMe and eBay. They both help support the channel. And that I will accept requests if you need help with something, because that's the whole point of this series, is to help people. Thank you, and have a great day.